Hey you guys, so I want to come and chat with y'all a little bit. So I've got my setup together and a few people <sighs> intro. Hey everybody, I'm Paris Morgan and I want to talk YouTube with you. So today before I start I want to say my agenda to do my commentary on YouTube is to really more or less talk about the China when we're talking about all this tea you know what I'm saying I want to highlight the positive things so if you want to join my China team send me information about good things going on because it's enough people talking about the drama we are gonna address the drama, but we're gonna highlight the good because it's enough people highlighting the bad. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do over here. So let's get started. So let's get started. So I wanna start this segment off by talking about two YouTubers who could have and should have taken off to a higher level but some of the things they do make sense to why they are where they are and not where they could be. So my first level of disappointment comes in with Martin Lewis. Now, Martin Lewis is, I believe, Australian, and he has a nice little accent. It's a very ASMR feeling, so you can listen to him talk. With that being said, he's a nice looking guy. And with his accent, you can't tell if he is straight, gay. You don't really make any assumptions. It's just a nice voice to listen to, to get a different perspective from what someone from around the world may be looking in on, just like you. So the things he was doing in the beginning were pretty good. And I can honestly say around the time he kind of resurrected, I should say, um, there was kind of a lot of drama going on so he was like really making a name for himself during a good time during youtube drama um you can go check out the videos but a lot of the drama that he covered in that time is very pivotal in becoming the people who are who they are today so he did cover a lot of big people in their prime um once again he did do really good with telling the story and a little jokey joke in it and that's one thing i do like about martin lewis while he does report and he is laughing at the situations, that's exactly what he's doing. He's making light of the situations. Why I like to watch him because it's an equal amount of bias against everyone. Like as he's serving the tea, he's not really on the side of the person or the opposer of who he's reporting. He's laughing at the entire situation and was like, could you look dumb? You know what I'm saying? And that's the most thing that everyone who wants fame is afraid of with the fame is the embarrassment is. It's one thing to fall and slip and bust your butt at the family reunion, but it's another thing to do it on the internet. Then it's another thing to be somebody and then do that on the internet. So like each level of importance and the bigger your fan base is, is is how much bigger that a small embarrassment can seem huge so you take an actual regular huge embarrassment and slap on top of your celebrity or your fame and it's embarrassing everyone's laughing at you and you feel bad because although it may be funny and you laugh at other people it's you but i digress i digress so martin lewis like i said fell off and I know some of that because he talked about his own drama too, which I also appreciate with him because he's very transparent. Um, he got into some legal stipulations with some YouTubers. And I feel like around some of those times, I don't know who the last one was. I just remember seeing them. And I say them because I know I remember seeing at least two separate incidences throughout like my duration of watching him. Um, it seemed like he just kind of settled down, but also a lot of drama as far as the people he was initially following has settled down too. So it made sense, you know, like 
you can't report something there's nothing there to report so then as he's starting to kind of pop back up i see he's kind of being around i don't want to call it the kiddie pool but that's kind of how i look at it um he's like i kind of want to say for me like my bootleg version of the teen shade room because i'm not a teen so i'm not in the teen shade room i'm not like like unless you're on a certain platform i'm not checking for teens and i'm not realizing who's a teen who's not who's underage and that's a whole nother conversation because yeah y'all 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 <laughs> it's too much going on y'all know like kidnapping and human trafficking is on the rise because y'all little girls out here showing like I'm, I'm hot and i'm wild and i can do this and i already do this so they they snatching y'all up and it's real easy y'all getting all snatched up because a lot of y'all tricking and it's sad like I ain't gonna, that's a whole nother video, but the prostitution levels. Anyways, before I get over to that whole bag, yeah, um, yeah, so Martin Lewis, he had that down. So boom, he popped back up. He popped up with another YouTuber and who I thought initially was gonna be something. So the other person is um, Destin Troyes or Troy TV. I say both because he has two pages and it seems like the more the drama page is the Destin Troy's page, which is like, I mean, I can't be mad. Like you putting your name on it, like it's coming straight from you. But also like, I don't know if you realized, and let me take a, a bite in the name of Destin Troy. Um, you're named after diaper cream. Like, if Destin's around, there's a rash. <laughs> like, oh my god, like, talking about the ghetto. Ooh, child. Your name, for sure. Like, damn. You named after diaper rash cream. Sheesh. Anyways. Yeah, before the shade came about a young man, black, you know, doing the whole mukbang thing and drama. I said, oh, that is a nice little, I had like pre-thought something of similar nature because but trying to become a YouTuber, it's like, I'm not going to say it's hard, but it's so easy. It's frustrating when you feel like, you couldn't have got it accomplished, especially when you see other people thriving off of things you thought of, you know? And you understand that people are getting the views because it is a common like mind type thing. Anywho, I digress. As he was partaking in the drama and he was telling his stories and stuff, he was funny. He was a key key or whatever. Um, and a part of the appeal of it too was just to watch him eat kind of disgusting concoctions but that was also appealing because it's like what's gross to me might be good to you so it was like a thing of like you know you're, you're interested for multiple different things like even with the shade because a lot of the stuff he said I kind of disagreed with but I admired and I recognize and gave credit on his compassion because he was consistent and he did his videos he talked his shit and he ate his food like bam like you got a brand and you doing it and you're working towards it so gotta give credit where credit's due like i most definitely salute both of these young men because they have committed and they are have a platform they do have a platform and they're using it so kudos to you now we about to talk about the platform and what it's built on okay so choice like Maybe it's time for you to do some mukbang with some salads. Because, baby, we didn't really watch you grow. You hear me? Like, you started off this cute, chubby kid with cute little chubby face and stuff. Like, you were cute. Like, okay. Like, oh, look at his little shadiness. Like, oh, okay. Like, but then you just got bigger. You didn't grow. Your outfits didn't change. Your set didn't change. Like, 
you just got bigger. And like when people talk about health scares and diabetes, like how Ju like Michael Jillian was just talking about Lizzo and like, no, we're not about to celebrate that. This you are a prime example of that because it's okay to love the self you're in. But baby, you had to get to that point. At some point, you need to be like, okay, this needs to be my biggest. I have plateaued. I do not want to get bigger. It's not body shaming, but it's being aware of your situation. So yeah, you need to, you know, Google some search, go to some like foreign markets, get they a uh, little fruit you ain't never heard of. You know, go do your little commentary. It might be a little insensitive, so be careful. But do y'all banter. What is this? What does this look like? Mm, I guess I'm going to try it. And bring some fruits and some different vegetables onto your show because, you know, you 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 need to get a flat tummy tea. You, you, you need to go do one of these. You need to do something because it's not, it's not, it's not cute, you know. You were chubby and young, so it was cute. Now you're grown and big. And it's not even the big Rick Ross sexy. Uh, like, no, you have a baby face, no facial hair, and you just big. You look sloppy, friend. I'm saying that because if you go through my post history, I have congratulated you. And I mean that. But you getting out of hand, friend. I don't care. If anybody don't love you, I do. And the truth hurts, and that's the pill that you got to swallow. Baby, we got to get it together. And I say we because I'm trying to lose some weight, too. You see how I'm at frame, okay? No shame, okay? So, real recognize real, fat recognize fat. And, baby, you you, you, you been there in that, okay? Martin. Um, so, as I've been watching your videos, I'm starting to realize I think you're a little younger than what I maybe have perceived you to be. Um, at least how your antics is and for the fact that you're collabing with Trace is kind of weird because I feel like it's the act of desperation. Like I feel like, and I also know you're also part of the spectrum, you know, so like sis, if y'all was at the same school, y'all wouldn't be friends. No, like y'all would not be in the same clique. Like, no, y'all, you a type girl, she a type girl, but y'all was not the type of girls that hang together. So, miss me with all of that. Um, like, it seems, it just seems really forced. Like, you know, just to give an example, if y'all know He Flawless and, not Kenneth, that's He Flawless. And, damn it, I can't think of his little bestie's name or whatever. But, them are two girls who, yes, if you see them, they look like they'd be besties. That's why they have collabed. They have became friends and they had a situation. Like, that seemed real. Y'all two, it just seemed forced. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's worth a try. But y'all both are messy girls. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Like, Martin. Look at, look at Troy's. No. Troy's. Look at Martin. No. Y'all look like y'all got the same type. Y'all don't even look like y'all noses up in the air for the same reason. No, y'all both like to talk shit. So I feel like it's forced. So no, I'ma just need that duo to go. Bye. Okay, on to the next clip. The next duo that I want to talk about is Neek G the host, aka Royalty, and Kentucky, aka Jalen. Oh. 